you go to the doctor and she tells you that your blood pressure is slightly elevated. What does that mean? What is normal blood pressure? What is slightly elevated blood pressure? At what numbers are you at risk and at risk for what? Today, we'll be answering those questions. Good morning, health-minded people. I'm Dr. Snow and I teach you how to treat minor health issues naturally and I work with clients and their physicians to manage medication therapy to keep them on the fewest number of medications with the best outcomes possible. So what is a normal blood pressure? The Centers for Disease Control or CDC defines normal blood pressure as less than 120 millimeters of mercury systolic over 80 millimeters of mercury diastolic. Slightly elevated or at risk blood pressure is between 120 to 139 systolic and 80 to 89 diastolic. Anything above 140 systolic and 90 diastolic is considered hypertension or high blood pressure. But you don't want to go below 90 systolic and 60 diastolic or this would be hypotension or low blood pressure. So just like Goldilocks in the Three Bears house, you want everything to be just right. When was the last time you had your blood pressure checked? Was it within normal limits? Type normal in the comments below if your blood pressure was below 120 over 80. So what are the risks if your blood pressure is consistently over 140 over 90? Stroke, blindness, heart failure or heart attack, kidney damage and sexual dysfunction can happen if your blood pressure is consistently high. None of these are desirable, so you can understand why you really need to keep your blood pressure under 120 over 80. And because high blood pressure usually doesn't have any symptoms, you should have your blood pressure checked with a monitor to be sure that your numbers are within normal limits. If you have found this information helpful, please press that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit that little bell so that you'll be notified every Monday when I post a new video that's designed to help you navigate the sometimes confusing healthcare system. If you want to learn about how you can avoid the doctor, I have created a series of videos that can help you do just that. Thank you for joining me today to learn what normal blood pressure is and at what point you need to be concerned about yourself. Stay healthy, watch your blood pressure, and have a blessed week.